So first, let me check and make sure that I have an IP address, and I don't, which is why they didn't show up earlier. So let me fix that. Uh, the problem is I rebooted these, and they were set for DHCP, and I did not have a DHCP server set up. So I'll fix that using the if config command and give uh, Ethernet0 the IP address of 10.10.10.2. And now I should be able to ping 10.10.10.1, which is the gateway of the distributed switch. So I'll also going to want to go and fix Linux Web 2 because he's going to have the same problem. So my apologies, let me do that real fast. Yep, same thing. So again, sudo and do if config for Ethernet 0. Set that to 10.20.22 with a net mask of slash 24. And I'll now be able to ping the gateway. And that works. Now, let's see, if I try to ping the uh, host on the other side, it is probably not going to work because I don't think I've got a static route, but let me go ahead and give that a shot. Nope, doesn't know how to get to the 1010 10 network. So I'll fix that real fast and uh, configure the static route. And I'll cheat a little bit and use the history command so I don't have to type it all in again. So it'll do a route add of net 000, which is the static route. And I'll need to, again, uh, do that on the other side. Make sure that's going to work for Linux Web 1. So again, I'll cheat a little bit, use the history command, and run it for that side. That way they know how to route back and forth to each other. So normally you wouldn't have to do this. This is just because I rebooted these boxes and uh, they came up unclean. Now when I ping, everything is good because I can ping from 10.10.10 network over to 10.20.20 and vice versa. So that works. And we're good to go. So that shows that the routing is working. And you can also see there that I did a list of the ARP of the MAC addresses that we know from ARPs. And we see that 10.20.21, which is the default gateway, the LIF of the logical router is 56.44.52 or the last three um, segments there. And if we look at the other side and do the same thing here, you'll notice it's the same. It's the same MAC address. So even though they're different IPs, it actually uses the same generated MAC for the LIF. And remember, when we look at the LIF or ping the LIF, it's actually never leaving the host. So, uh, you know, we don't have to, you know, when you ping that when you're troubleshooting, it's actually hitting a kernel module there instead of actually leaving the host and going outside and going and hitting a physical device. So pretty simple to actually stand up and test the logical router. Um, you know, now I want to show you that we can talk to the outside. So 192, 168, 200, 150 is the IP of the iMac that I'm actually uh, recording this on. And I've put a static route into that guy to point back. And you can see that it works. And if I looked at the ARP table for my Mac, it would actually show the PMAC. So whereas we just checked the VMAX a minute ago, the virtual Max for the lifts, my iMac would actually see the physical Mac. So it shows that we're actually talking to the outside, going through the logical router and back again. So all that is working as expected and no problems there. So next I want to jump over to the Vero lab and show you a couple of things. We're going to look at some of the configuration there. Um. 